Well, I know it is tough to think about, but pretty soon summer will be winding down and it'll be time to start prepping for winter. New information may be able to help us understand what the season has in store. KBJR 6's Hunter McCullough explains. It's the beginning of August and nobody wants to talk about that six letter W word. But there's some information in the forecast that can help us determine how our upcoming winter could play out. You've probably heard the term La Nina before, but maybe you're not fully sure what it means. It basically has to do with the temperature of the Pacific Ocean near the equator. La Nina exists if those temperatures are colder than average for a relatively long period of time. We're currently under a La Nina watch, which means conditions are favorable for La Nina to develop over the next six months. So what does this mean for the Northland? Well, historically speaking, our region has seen stronger winter-like conditions during La Nina periods. Uh, a lot of Duluth's major, you know, snowfall seasons where the totals are well in excess of 100 inches, a lot of those came from La Nina events. This isn't always the case, however. Kenny Bloomfeld is the senior climatologist for the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. He says that the effects from La Nina have become a lot more unpredictable since the mid-1990s. Bloomfeld attributes this to a combination of the continuing discovery of different atmospheric features as well as the rise of global temperatures. The global temperatures are increasing and the Pacific Ocean temperatures near the equator are also increasing and that kind of throws off our ability to detect these El Nino and La Nina events. So do you need the hats, gloves and shovels quite yet? Well, maybe not, but it's something to keep in mind as we head towards the future months. I think we've learned enough now about uh, not to pretend we know what this climate can do. It can do just about anything. So even whether we're in La Nina or not, uh, expect the unexpected. I am not ready for winter. Well, in case you're wondering, an El Nino is the exact opposite of a La Nina. That's when the Pacific Ocean is warmer near the equator, which can lead to warmer than average winter conditions.